Hey, this is Soren with Jiffy Photo Booth, and today I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of how to load paper into DNP's DSRX1 printer. Um, basically, what you get in a box of paper is ink on a ribbon, on two spindles, and a roll of paper. And you get two of those per box. It's about $200 a box. And each roll gives you 700 prints or 1,400 double strips. So if you see that ribbon light blinking, that means you gotta change the paper and the ink. You change them both at the same time always. Never mix and match. They come in mixed set, matched sets. Um, these paper wheels will already be in the printer probably on a roll of paper. Don't throw these out. They're expensive and your printer won't work without them. So you just squeeze the black lever at the top Pull down and that uh, opens up the printer. Take your roll of paper, put the paper opening on top facing forward. Take the wheels, push them firmly into the sides of the paper roll. Make sure there's no gap. Take off the sticker, take it off carefully. It won't damage the paper. So keep the um, front of the paper on top and you just slide this in and the white parts of the wheels just fit into place. Uh, there's a little bar and a little sticker in there that say paper insert. So you stick the paper through where it says paper insert, advance it forward with your hand and then there's a black plate right here and it goes behind the black plate and if your printer's plugged in you'll hear a beep if you roll it far enough. So there's the little beep beep. So that means you've rolled it far enough. If you roll it too far, it'll be sticking out of the printer. Uh, and you should probably do this with the printer turned on. Okay, so what you have here is a waste spindle and a uh, unused section of the ribbon. Doesn't matter which you put in first, but basically the yellow end goes to the yellow wheel you put the this end has notches in it just put the notched end in on the left click the yellow into place and then take the notched end of the good side and get it on the left and then put it in on the right uh, you want to advance it a little bit so that the uh, ribbon is tight now we're just going to close it up and the printer will spit out some, uh, some waste sheets to help align the paper. If you do this with the printer off, it won't spit out the sheets, but you won't know if the paper is properly aligned. It's gonna spit out one more. Okay, so now you see that the power light is green and any prints that were in your print queue will now print out. Looks like there was one in the print queue. Looks like there's two in the print queue. Another thing to notice about the DMP printer is this um, black piece here just pull up on the bottom and it pops off. This is where the waste strips are. So after every print, it makes a very thin waste strip. Make sure you empty this container before you travel with it so that the waste strips don't get caught up inside. Okay, so it's empty and you just put it in top first and then pop it in the bottom. Uh, after travel, you might want to open up this printer and make sure that the ribbon isn't loose. Uh, if the ribbon's loose, it can tear. So just advance the ribbon a little bit. Make sure it's tight before you uh, start using the printer. And this side is going to get bigger and bigger as the, as the prints are made. And this side of the ribbon is going to get smaller and smaller. And if your ribbon tears, 
you can literally just put a piece of tape on it and advance the wheel until the tape's on the waste spool and then just keep going. You can remove rolls of paper but keep them matched with the ink for later use. Um, like I said before, don't mix new paper, old ink or old ink and um, new paper. It just causes problems. Uh, if you open up your control panel on your computer, I like to go up here to view by in the upper right and make sure it says large icons. Then you'll get more of the options here. Then you can go to devices and printers and hopefully your DSRX1 will pop up here, either DSRX1 copy one or copy two or the original DSRX1. Plug them into different um, USB ports seems to create new copies, but go in here if your photo booth isn't working and uh, make sure that it's set to be the default printer. If it doesn't have a green check mark on it, you might wanna right click on the printer and choose set as default, which is the second option there in Windows 10. But let's go into the printer driver. So right click on your printer and go to printing preferences, not printing, printing properties. That brings up something different. Uh, orientation. Um, this printer is backwards compared to most printers. Portrait uh, is best for printing full four by sixes sideways and landscape is best for printing uh, like a standard double strip from a photo booth. Um, you can set it here to print more than one copy, um, but generally one is enough. Go to the other settings you want to be aware of are the advanced, but under the advanced button here, you can choose the paper size, but mostly in photo booths you're going to be using six by four. Um, they have five by seven listed in here and things, and I don't even think they make five by seven paper for this printer. But down at the bottom of the advanced setting is the two inch cut. When it says disable, that means it's going to print a full four by six. If you change that to enable and say okay and apply, then it will cut the strip into two vertical two by six strips. So if you're gonna be doing double strips, that's what you want it to say. You want to go to advanced to make sure it says enable. And then you say okay, you say hit apply and okay, and your printer is set to print double strips.